Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're experiencing a black screen when attempting to capture your display using OBS Studio. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the search menu, type in graphics, best match, or go back to graphics settings, go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath Custom Options for Apps, select the Browse button, and then select Local Disk, or wherever OBS may be installed. Double-click on the Program Files folder, go down to OBS minus sign Studio, double-click on that, double-click on the Bin folder, double-click on 64-bit, and then select OBS 64, double-click on it, and then select the Options button, Select Power Saving. So if you have an integrated uh, graphics card, you might want to just make sure it's set to Intel as the one that's built into your computer. Sometimes it might try and pull from your NVIDIA or AMD uh, graphics card. So you just want to make sure it's set back to just Power Saving to the Intel one. There is integrated graphics you want to select it. And then select Save. And then close out of here. And then hopefully that's resolved the problem. Something else you might want to take a look into here as well. If you actually double clicked and opened up OBS Studio, you want to select underneath sources. If you had a display source in here, you want to delete it just by clicking on it and then the delete icon or right click and then delete. And then you will add a new one. So click on the little plus button, select display capture, and then select OK. And then at this point you can select the default capture method. Usually automatic is fine. If you select the other options here, if you're having still further problems, you can select, for example, Windows 10, 1903 and up. I believe it just creates a yellow bar around the window, so it's doing a couple of different ways of capturing your screen. You can look more into that online if you're curious about different capture methods, but really shouldn't be the cause of the issue here. And then you can select different displays. If you have a secondary display on your computer, maybe the first one isn't being picked up properly or you're looking at the wrong screen, you can click on the drop down here, and if you have multiple displays connected, you can select the correct one listed. And then you would select OK, and that's all you have to do. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do apologize to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.